Hello, scientific writers. Today's video is the first in a series of experiments that I'm going to do with chat GPT to see how well this AI software can do with scientific writing. The first experiment I did was to ask chat GPT to write a literature review about copper transporters with references. So I'll show you on the screen how that went through and then we'll end up with some lessons. Write a research review about copper transporters and include references to scientific literature. So what it gave me was six paragraphs about the CTR copper transporter family. And it's talking about CTR1, CTR2, CTR3, CTR4. And it has one paragraph about CTR1 with a reference it has one paragraph about CTR2 with the exact same reference, one paragraph about CTR3 with the exact same reference, one paragraph about CTR4 with the exact same reference, and a conclusion paragraph. Now I happen to know that there are more copper transporters than just CTR family. Okay, there are other families of copper transporters and it didn't mention any of those. So that's a big red flag. It missed entire other families of copper transporters. And also, it only gave me one reference. Okay, so this reference is Sakamoto K. et al. 2018, Copper Transporters and the Roles in Copper Homeostasis, Journal of Trace Elements in Medicine and Biology, Volume 48, page 31 to 37. All right, so I copied this reference and I went over to Google Scholar and searched for it and no results were found for Sakamoto K et al. 2018. So I went back to chat GPT and I said, is Sakamoto K et al. 2018 a real or fabricated reference? And the response I got is, it appears to be a fabricated reference as I couldn't find any scientific article with the title on this journal. So be cautious. Okay, here are two major problems that we have in something very simple. The simple prompt that I asked to write a research review about copper transporters. Now another thing is what species are they talking about? Are these human copper transporters? Are they mouse copper transport? Are they yeast? Plants? It doesn't say that at all. Maybe we can ask. So let's ask this. What species are you referring to for CTR1, etc.? My punctuation is not perfect, but that's okay. So here's its real-time response. The CTR family of transporters have been identified and studied in a variety of species, including humans, mice, rats, and yeast. The majority of the studies on the CTR family have been conducted in yeast and mice where the functions of these transporters have been well characterized. I'm going to say, what about plants? Yes, CTR transporters are present in plants as well, and they play a crucial role in copper homeostasis in these organisms. Okay, so it didn't mention plants in its previous answer, but now that I asked about plants, I'm getting, you know, quite an essay about that. Okay, so let's see, how can we dig a little deeper? Um, it's only mentioning the CTR family and COPT so far, so let's ask if there are other families of copper transporters. I know there are, but let's see what happens. Okay, in addition to CTR and COPT, there are several other CCH family. And we're talking about plants in this answer. HMA family. And that's also referring to plants. P-type ATPase family. Um, and yeast in animals. And yeast CCC2 protein. ATP7A, ATP7B. These are some examples of copper transporters families, yet it is not an exhaustive list. All right, so it's nice that it finally telling us it's not an exhaustive list. But if you were new to the field of copper transporters, 
and you just got that first answer where it only talked about the CTR family, you might be unintentionally misled. And if you didn't ask further questions, you may not find out that there are additional families that it should be telling you about. You shouldn't just blindly trust the answers you're going to get from ChatGPT. So here are my takeaways from asking ChatGPT to write this introduction or review article or literature review about copper transporters. First, the literature review it gave back was very superficial. It only had six paragraphs. The four middle paragraphs, there was one for each copper transporter in this family of CTR copper transporters and they were basically all the same so it didn't go into much depth. Lesson number two was not only did it not go into much depth on the CTR family but it left out a bunch of other families of copper transporters that I already know about so if I were new to this field and I didn't know that it was leaving out all these other copper transporters you know I might get myself into some trouble or waste a lot of time uh, because I don't have all the information. Takeaway number three was it only gave a single source. I asked it to provide references. It provided one single reference and that reference was fake. Okay, it was fabricated. It's not even a real reference. So total fail in that regard. So don't rely on chat GPT to find you references or write your literature review. Now in the future, maybe it can do all these things. But right now, it's not that great for this purpose. A lot of people are treating it as if it can do these things. So I just wanted to test out and see if it could. Uh, let me know if you try a similar experiment with a different prompt. Let me know what kind of results you get. If you get real references or if you get fabricated references. Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious about that. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and happy writing.